Hey everyone, it's Miss STEM Tutor here where we try to get that 100. Today we're going to cover some basic derivative rules that you must know. It's going to be relatively a shorter video where we just kind of go over a list, but I'm going to tell you some tricks to memorizing these. To start us off, we're going to talk about some non-trick derivatives formulas, right? It's going to be very common. So first, you see x to the n is just going to be n times x to the n minus 1. And then you see e to the x is just going to be e to the x. So anytime you have an e to the x, like e to the x, e to the 2x, e to the 3x, it's always going to be the same, right? So if you have e to the 2x, the derivative of that is just going to be e to the 2x. But are we forgetting something? Yes, we are. Remember, there's always chain rule. So 2x, the derivative of 2x is 2. So you got to multiply by 2. But in general, when you have a derivative of e to the x, like a function like related, right? It's going to be the same function and then chain rule if it applies. So next, we see a to the x. Just memorize this. It's going to be natural log of a times a to the x. And then natural log of x, the derivative of that is just going to be 1 over x. So next, we have some trig derivatives formula, right? So let's just go through them really quickly, and I'll tell you a pattern here. So sine of x, the derivative is just going to be cosine x, and then derivative of a cosine x, it's going to be negative sine x. Let's pay attention to the negative signs here. And tangent x, the derivative, is just going to be secant squared x. And then the derivative of cosecant x is just going to be Watch out, negative cotangent x, cosecant x. And secant x, you are going to have secant x, tan x as your derivative. Okay, and then the derivative of your cotangent x, lastly, it's going to be negative, and then cosecant squared x. So here, do you kind of see like a pattern? right, with the negatives and what's in red? Well, let me tell you how I remember, right? Anytime I'm taking a derivative of a function that starts with a C, you see right here, I know that the derivative is going to be negative. So a way you can memorize it is that every time you have a trig function with the starting letter of C, when you take a derivative, your derivative is going to have a negative sign. Right, so that's a really good way to memorize it. So next, let's talk about some inverse trig derivatives. Um, I've already wrote in the derivatives for you, so we can just talk about the patterns, right? Again, C means negative, right, guys? Remember this, and you'll be golden. C means negative, right? That means your derivative is going to be negative. Cool, and then next, something you should realize is that for tangent and cotangent, like arc tangent and arc cotangent, look at your base, right? Your base is always 1 over 1 plus x squared, except remember the rule, c means negative. So you just need to remember that it's always 1 over 1 plus x squared for arc tan and arc cotan, except that arc cotan starts with the letter c, so it's going to have a negative sign. And then next, something else you should realize and notice is that like for arc sine and arc cosine, Notice how they are all like 1 minus x squared and 1 minus x squared, right? But over here on arc cosecant and arc secant, it's just x squared minus 1 and x squared minus 1. So basically, you just flip which one are on each side of the subtraction, right? You just flip them, right? So then it becomes x squared minus 1. So they're just basically flipped. So these are the inverse trig derivatives. So I hope this short video was helpful to you and that it gave you a clear list of all the derivatives you should have in mind as well as some quick tips to memorize them. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and click the notification bell. Comment down below if you have anything else you would like me to cover. It's Miss STEM Tutor here. Let's get that 100. See you guys later.